Well, welcome to this week's video. <laughs> Let me go close this door. Alright, so I've been making significant progress towards getting the floor down and the subfloor done, along with getting supports added in the walls and the front area. I got a little more to do up there. Uh, most of my welding is taken care of at night. And it's getting closer and closer to being done, and I'm looking forward to being done with it. I'm so sick of welding at this point. Anyhow, that being said, I got some self-etching primer, which I'm planning on throwing on the top of this uh, floor in here ever since I pulled out the seats and did the body mounts. I want to get this back up nice and everything else. I do have future plans for welding, or not welding. I do have future plans for doing some repairs on this engine. It has a cold weather thing. It doesn't seem like it's actually uh, pre-warming the injectors. Um, originally what it was doing, it started off really quick in the summertime every time. And then during the winter and the colder months, it took like 11 seconds to crank over. And now it just changed back to the 7 seconds to crank over. So it makes me think it might have something to do with the uh, glow plugs. Or glow plug relay or one of the other many things it can be. I also need to check the cam position sensor and the uh, high pressure oil or pressure oil sensor thing. Apparently it can go out too. So what I want to do is just go through and replace all the sensors and have me a spare set that I carry with me. And along with the belts and the pulleys if they need it. And just go through and check some normal maintenance stuff with the engines that go out commonly on these engines. So I was trying to leave this open because I can easily access the uh, turbo and some of the other things back here, but I have a new floor for here and I've had it for a while, it's just taking up space in the house. I got it relatively watertight and I feel confident or comfortable putting it in here now, the new floor. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull out the seats and get it all cleaned up in here, uh, prime the floor and get the new floor vinyl in here with the new sound deadening in it. Get the seats put back in here and get that uh, doghouse back in here and we'll pull it all, you know, pull out a seat or something later on down the road. But at least it'll be sitting together and it'll be clean up here and drivable. Um, speaking of drivable, I actually want to get this where I can drive it down the road again. So I get to get the marker lights in, both the front and the rear. Um, the front and the rear are also going to have a little extra support added on the outside where the marker lights are. And it will give me a little more rain protection for some of the things. Oh, I'm sorry. Nose itches. Also, by doing work like this, I don't have to worry about wearing grungies. I can wear something nice and pretty and comfy and not so gross clothing. Grungies is the best way to say it. So until I get to painting, I'm going to wear nice clothes, or comfortable clothes, and cooler clothing. I've, you know, I've had to work at night to do the welding because I get too hot during the day. Anyhow, this seat's already just unattached. i got to pull out the driver's seat and unhook it. And get this cleaned in here, painted, some of the uh, paneling off. I can lay the floor mat in here along with the insulation, get it put back down how it belongs, and then we can put the seats back in here and put the doghouse back on. And that will just make one less thing I have to store and keep nice and keep an eye on it. Uh, the room in there is starting to pile up with all the stuff in there, and most of that stuff will actually go in here as soon as I'm assured Sure, <laughs> as soon as I am sure that it's not going to leak water on my electrical, I will start bringing it out here. Along with the floor insulation and the heated floor and the, everything else. And like I've been telling everyone, it's, once I get the subfloor done and that kind of laid out, it should go a lot faster. And really, it should go a lot faster because then I'm not dealing with welding, I'm dealing with woodworking. And woodworking is not that hard. I'm not fabricating. Well, I am fabricating, but I'm not doing it done. So, anyhow, let's get this stuff going. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. Oh, I've been running from the law 
hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon on the camera and the charger quit working today. I don't know if it's the battery or the camera or this whatever. It's over a year and a half old. So you wouldn't think it'd go out but it might. Anyhow I was charged and I went ahead and got it cleaned up in here. De-rusted and primed with the actual self-etching primer. I'm just going to leave the primer on it. It should keep it safe for a long time. The floor looks good. There's only one spot with a little bit of concerning rust but it's not enough to really do anything with so I'm hoping the primer will keep everything safe and we're gonna lay the foam in here first and then lay the other stuff on top of it get it trimmed to size and go back together hopefully before that storm shows up well, if you wanna get to heaven, you gotta raise a little get some black covers for these and help match out the colors. So. There will also be be how it remains I'll probably put the god I keep seeing that darn windmill over there it makes me think I see someone I thought a dog was coming at me mainly because the neighbor dog's out and they're kind of aggressive dogs anyhow um, I'll put the stuff back on everything and we'll make it look prettier later on and this I'm just going to find another van a little clippy in thing here for this and I could put a radio there, but every time I took it in and out, I had to unplug it. And I don't really want to do with that. I'll probably build a little console over here or something for it, or even maybe up there, over there, or even on the dash would be fine with me, as long as I can look across it and see it. But uh, this makes me feel better. It makes me feel a lot better actually, because it feels like I'm going back together versus just tearing apart, tearing apart, tearing apart. So. We'll see. You know, it keeps everything looking clean in here and waterproof. I got a little piece of metal that goes between the two parts here. 
I'd like to get the plywood up here first so I get this. Basically when you see it from the outside it looks like a black area behind it. You can't see anything. It also isolates this area from that area. Which should be really nice. Oh. Mm. I worked hard last night. I'm probably not going to work hard this tonight. Need a day off to relax and get that let myself rehydrate. So that's it. I will be putting the other chair in there, but that's the new floor of it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night.